All right, welcome back. So I'm gonna go ahead and dis disable the fire. I don't need fire, although it kind of looks cool though. <laughs> but I just need smoke. I may, I may actually try the fire later on, but for now, I guess I don't really uh, I want fire. Fire. That's not my intention uh, to do that. So I'm gonna just give it a random field. It doesn't know what that is. That should force it to just abandon using uh, those things. Okay. <clears throat> All right, now we're back to just the smoke. And let's talk about the render quality thing here. Uh, go to the out here underneath this drop down menu and you can grab this Mentor IPR or Mentor Render, whatever it is named, you should have one here. And you can go ahead and uh, go to the rendering part. Uh, the pixel sample will be the primary sampling of the render so the more you have here uh, the more anti-aliasing and lesser noise will happen right uh, so this is a very expensive number uh, if you crack that up to something like six uh, this is gonna make the render time eight times more because you're basically rendering eight times more uh, sorry four times more actually because it's 2d four times more rays uh, and that's gonna be four times much more time to render them or at least like that okay uh, the mean re sample and max re sample is determined by the noise level so what it does is uh, when it starts to render it will try to shoot multiple reads and they will compare that those multiple reads and see if uh, those rays are getting similar results. If the result is the differentiation between those two rays they send out are bigger than this value, then they will send more rays until they reach the max ray sample. Okay, uh, those are secondary rays to trace back uh, to the light. Yeah, if you are familiar with ray tracing, although this is not a complete full blown rendering tutorial, but a lot of concept. Uh, uh, if you're learning VFX already, you should know those concepts. Right? You must have been from a either environmental modeler, render, or character artist, things like that. You should be able to. You should have done a lot of those rendering things already. So pixel sample uh, is basically the camera AA in Arnold, or for Vray, it's uh, I don't know the forget the, that value here, but the quality, right? Uh, and those things, yeah, that's, so that's the main max rays and the quality control. The bigger this number is, to be just simple, right? The bigger this number is, the more noise you get, the faster the render time will be. Global quality is the global quality, uh, global uh, of our pre computed quality parameters. So this is the multiplier of uh, this uh, of everything and you have diffuse substance scattering and reflection quality all those separated ones uh, and volume quality is actually a important part too okay so it will sample through the volume when you're rendering it because it's a volume that does go through ready right? it will go every point 25 pixels deep and then do a little tracing and a little bit more so for every point 25 pixel size sorry quixel size or voxel size it will actually sample ones and sample ones uh, until it determines it's too deep and it, the light doesn't go through anymore uh, so that again the value uh, the bigger this is right uh, then the lower the quality will be and the shadow quality is the quality of the shadow, the higher it is, the better the shadow will be, but also the more refined and less noise the shadow will be, but uh, it will also crack up the rentality quite a bit. So the getaway here from those guys is that you don't have to tweak everything here. The important ones are noise level, crack that up until you are, the noise is acceptable to you. Okay. Uh, so you can say maybe I can tolerate a little bit more noise. I can use the noise in nuke, and then you can crack it up. This up to 0 0.02. Okay. 
so that the render time will get slightly better or faster as you can see it's going faster at the beginning at least <laughs> okay uh, the volume quality is the same thing if you think okay then my volume is pretty much transparent and I probably don't need to you know make it try to go really detailed inside so I'm gonna say instead 0.25 maybe 0.5 right to again lower down the quality to crank up the render time uh, this is really important especially when you are doing uh, iterations right you're doing uh, testing rendering then uh, how refined it is probably wouldn't matter because you're still trying to figure out the lighting and you know other things so you can lower down those qualities okay so that's the primary ones others you don't really have to change too much uh, for high quality render you can use 0 0.01 and even smaller than that 0 0.005 and volume quality can be instead of 0.25 you can go just uh, divide that by two okay um, and one master control again is pixel sample if you wanted to uh, have more uh, lesser noise uh, in almost everything you go crank that up double that number or give it more number uh, okay so that's gonna be the render quality setting underneath the rendering and sampling okay and that's gonna be it for this tutorial again I didn't change too much just the noise level to something just a little bit higher to be able to uh, allow the render to be a little bit faster did I? I think I changed that too much let me reset it to default it's 0 0.01 right I'm, I'm, I changed that to 0 0.02 and another thing I changed is volume quality double that number and volume shadow quality 0.9 I was using 1 right default setting should be 1 right uh, so you can lower that down too if you want it but I, I think it's okay all right okay now again for better quality change this pixel sample to something higher again this is gonna crack up the render render time a lot so just be aware of that all right so without further tweaking let's actually do a test render i'm going to start a test render right away it's going to probably take a few hours to render through those frames into uh, especially those later ones that has a lot of volume inside of it uh, so i'm going to actually start the rendering right? and to do that let me stop this and one of the things i don't want to see is the background so i'm going to actually go grab my camera here underneath the camera track that's where my camera is in the uh, FBX folder I want to check out enable background image to allow me to render without that just testing and see if we got rid of the background right. cool and also we can visualize that better by turn on the uh, toggle the, the transparency okay all right and then I guess that's everything we need and we're just gonna do a quick test render and when we come back we can talk about if there is something we wanted to change if not then we can move on to set up uh, maybe uh, materials for the actual structure behind it right it's all wet now and I have some normal issue here too so we may, we may, may need to go up back there and address that too all right, so everything is set up properly. I'm gonna stop this in this uh, rendering now and go back to the out. I'm gonna grab this mentor IPR, and then I'm gonna click on the render to disk uh, right here. Okay, uh, make sure that yeah, we're basically replacing the test render we were working on very early so i don't think i need to change anything here just need to hit on the render to disk and we're ready to go okay all right thanks for watching see you next time